All right, what I have here is um, ICS, Ice Cream Sandwich, which is Android version 4 on my Evo. Um, I'll show you my Evo. Uh, this is my personal device. Um, just wanted to kind of show you some things that the uh, Alpha has in it. It's got a little bit here and there that's a little... Um, not quite stable, but very usable. So, let's show you what's up. <clears throat> it's got the key unlock, kind of. There's a chat with my wife. Actually, let me show you a little bit with that. The um, apps in Android 4 are a little different. Um, I used an ICS G Apps pack from XDA. Uh, the the uh, uh, ROM is from XDA. And, um, well, it's being posted on XDA. It's actually being made by a Twitter user named at Prelude Drew. That's Prelude as in the car, and Drew as in the boy's name. Um, right now I'm showing you a folder option. I just click that, click it again, goes up. Um, you may be noticing it's a little slow. I mean, that's not necessarily slow, per se, because, um, but... If it's any slower than you've seen on any Nexus videos or anything of that nature, it's because there's no hardware acceleration in this ROM. <clears throat> that means that things are just going to be a little slower than they're used to than they're usually than they usually are, or that they usually would on the uh, Nexus device. Both Nexus devices have ICS. One of them has it, of course, naturally. One of them has it because uh, Team Cyanogen mod has a 9 alpha. I want to let you know this is not part of 9 alpha. This is just a source ROM built from source using source. No add-ons, no extras. Other than um, it is using a slightly custom kernel because they couldn't just put anything on here. So they're using a version of a different kernel but it's not going to sign me in. It's not going to do it. But yeah, I can select between the two services. Whether, or, excuse me, the two accounts I have registered. So that's a slightly different change that I've been begging for. And finally it's come. Um, also, contacts looks different. I can't really show you that right now. Um, because, you know, it's my contacts. Google Plus doesn't look any different than it has in the past. The newest update really changes things. Um, really doesn't change anything, excuse me. The update everyone got is the update that you're just going to see. Um, browser looks a little different in the fact that... Oh, let me connect to the internet. Let me connect to the internet, actually, and I'll show you kind of how... what you can do and what you can do different. See, that's the menu key I pressed. And like I said, if this is a little slow, it's because of hardware acceleration. This probably isn't a daily ROM for everyone, but uh, it works. Okay, I'm going to turn Wi-Fi off, and then hoop, turn Bluetooth on, Bluetooth off, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth off, Wi-Fi back on. Um, this ROM does have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi working. This is uh, version 4 of the ROM. They have a version 5 out, and all version 5 does is make this data usage app work. Uh, it, has, it doesn't work right now. If I click it, it won't do anything. Um, See, so, you know, I will just click it just to show you. See, it's all blank. Uh, it's not recording data. So version 5, uh, A5 as they're calling it, Alpha 5, is working and um, it's using the data usage thing. There's no hardware acceleration, so if you if you have this ROM or if you want this ROM, you might, you might as well upgrade to A5 if you're, or download A5 if you're a brand new user. If you're already on A4, stick around. There's not a lot of change. A um, couple other things in here. See, you can see I've got um, device settings being sound, display, storage, battery, apps. Uh, accounts and sync is in personal, location, security, language and input, backup and reset. And then system is, of course, date and time. Accessibility options, which has changed. You can now do a change the text, which I know is something a lot of people have been asking for that can't read smaller text. Um, power button ends call is now a feature that is in all of ICS. It's been a CyanogenMod feature, and I don't know what other phones it's been in, but I'm sure glad they kept it.
and I mean there's a couple other things, nothing major. I don't know if this is going to come with every ROM or not, it should, because USB, USB debugging is in here, but this is the developer options tab, and I have the option to stay awake, I have the option to do a few other things. Uh, the one thing that you need to do, pretty much always, is force GPU rendering. I'm doing that right now, and I mean it's not speeding it up a whole heck, heck of a lot, but it does change a few things. So that's very nice. As you can see, like I was talking about, it's a little laggy. Let's see if my Wi-Fi is connected now. <clears throat> yep, it's loading. You probably can't see though. A little blue line is going. Okay, one of the features that I like that's changed. Um, I can access this. This is a honeycomb feature that I used on a couple of honeycomb tablets. It's now come to Android uh, phones as well. Basically what I've got here is my URL. I can go access the windows I've seen before or I can access my options. Options haven't changed incredibly. One of the things we do have though is an incognito tab. <clears throat> I mean I guess you can do your more risque things in there. Mm. Yeah. Um, there's also a request desktop site uh, version, which is nice. I mean, some tablets automatically will start in mobile mode, and maybe you just don't want to read the mobile site because you've got a very powerful tablet. Um, some Sometimes you also just can't access everything from the mobile site, and so it's just nice to view the desktop version. Um, let's see what else has changed. I will tell you that Google Voice has changed, but I'm not going to show you really anything because... You know, like I said before, I just don't want you seeing my things. <clears throat> I'm scrolling. So this is page one. I scroll over page two. What you can't see is there's a bit of an animation in there. I do have Root on this device. Um, none of these apps that really that I'm running are, are running because they're optimized. I'm just running them just because they're nice. Um, I go over and I'm wearing the widgets setting now. As you can see up here, widgets. And we can view all the widgets and kind of browse. Um, a lot of them don't work right now in alpha, or they're weird, or they're kind of silly, or don't just, you know, don't work. So I really haven't applied very many. I will tell you um, another cool feature is I'm going from window to window, and my icons down here are all staying, as well as my Google search bar up top. Uh, they've made it kind of invisible, so it's hard to you know, really mess up too bad. It's kind of cool. I like that they've done that. Um, let's see. Let's go see if we can get... Let's go see Google Talk again. And let's talk to Chris. Except we're really not going to talk to him. I just wanted to show you an example of something. Um, this is the new microphone button. Um, there was, of course, a microphone button before, but this one's a bit different. So it waits, and then <coughs> it will go ahead and translate what I'm saying. And it's not exactly accurate, because we're in alpha, and the word guessing isn't as good as I want it to be, but it's getting better. Um, sometimes when I click an option, it won't exactly tell me a new or better replacement for the word. It will just give me a word that's kind of like it, or a word that's not exactly like it at all, which is kind of disappointing, but like I said, it is an alpha, so they're working on it, they're working on getting everything better. Um, it's been translating almost everything I can s I've can said. Um, obviously, it's not translating correctly. It said forward nine in there, so kind of cool. That's been my review for now. Uh, this is Mike for AndroidHeadlines.com. You can find us on AndroidHeadlines.com, of course, on Twitter, at Android Headline, or on Google+, Plus, which is Android Headlines. Just search for us on any of those sites, and you will find us. And um, we also have a YouTube where this is going to be. So if you've watched to the end of this video, obviously you know it's uh, YouTube.com slash Android Headlines. Again, this is Mike, and this has been ICS on my Evo 4G from Sprint.